Hey guys, this is Fred with USA Measurements, and today we're looking at our Big Jack Pallet Jack scale. It's the USBJ4827. It comes with or without a printer, and it's a 5,000 pound capacity. Let's get into it. All right, that was much harder than I thought it was gonna be, but here we go. Now that it's been unwrapped, we can demonstrate how to attach the handle and then move on from there. The number of times that my father has probably told me to always cut away from myself, and for some reason, I still seem to cut towards myself. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go just head and unwrap the handle. Now to start the process with installing the handle, first we want to remove the cotter pin. So we'll come in here and we'll take this cotter pin out. And then we want to go ahead and remove this cross piece here. And then we'll want to grab our handle. Now here's the important part. This cross pin has a hole in the center and we need to feed the chain through the hole just like that in order for this to work. So first what we want to do is first just get the cross pin through the handle here. That's step number one. All right, and once that's done, you'll see that the handle won't stay up by itself. And that's because this chain hasn't been initiated yet. So I'll show you here in the next step as best as I can of how we're gonna feed the chain, this chain right here through that center cross pin hole. So next what we need to do is get this chain through this uh, cross piece here. So now there's a, there's a little easy trick. So what you can do is if you push this out just a bit and you rotate this up, it will kind of give you a little bit easier access to put the chain through the hole. And from here, you just need to feed it through. Basically, once you have that installed, then you can go ahead and tilt this back down to put it into place and push all the way through. Now that that's done, if you take a look here, we still have this hole which will allow this to move in and out, and so we want to lock this into place. And so we're going to take our cotter pin, back in and tilt it like that just to kind of lock it in there for you. All right, from here, what we need to do next is now take the chain here and connect it to the fork hook. So I'll show you a little bit closer up shot better. So next what we need to do is take this chain here and you'll see that there's the top and bottom and we need to feed it through this fork right here. This is gonna be the lever that will have the release pump. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you can see. And again, there's really no trick to this, but what you have to do, and let's see. So by, so if you can see is now that I have this in my hand, if I push on this back lever here to lift it up, it's gonna give me the opportunity to lift it and catch it under the fork like that. All right. And now you can see that 
the bolt is underneath that hook part here, the lever, and it's completely in place. All right, once that's done, now we're just gonna move the last cross pin in order to get this working, and I will show you that here in the next step. All right, so now we still have the handle that's not staying up because the hydraulic pump hasn't been released yet. So in order to do that, we need to remove this crossbar here. So the easiest way to do this is we need to compress the spring. So if you look right here, we need to compress this spring in order to push this out. Once this is taken out, we are then good to go. And now you can see that the handle will stay in place and the, the pump is releasing. And that allows us to then go ahead and pump the unit up as you'll see on the forks to the right. And our handle will now be set in place to release. Just like that. Now here's a close up of the US 1011 indicator. This is what comes with our big jack pallet jack scale. Now to turn on the device, you press and hold this button down. And this is the boot up sequence. And from here, you'll see the different buttons where we have a zero function tear. We have our gross weight. We can switch between pounds and kilograms. And then we have our total for accumulation and different weighing modes. And then we have our hold function to lock in the weight. Now this model has a built-in label printer, which would allow you to print the weight, date, time, uh, to have a record of the pallets or the different items that you're weighing. This does have a built-in rechargeable battery. It's a 100-hour battery life. We do include the AC adapter, and this unit will come pre-calibrated and ready for use on arrival. Now, if we take a look here, this comes with a dual wheel. This is a polyurethane wheel, so it slides really well on your flat surfaces. As you can see, I've barely pushed it, and it rolls pretty far. So that makes it great for these warehouse conditions where you have really nice smooth surfaces. It can be used on other surfaces as well, but ideal would be concrete warehouse where you have a nice smooth surface that it can be used on. Now here in the front, this is our wheels that are used to jack up and lift the forks. And these are also a dual polyurethane wheel as well. So to use the device, if you wanted to pick up a pallet, you would come here and you would move the handle up and down. And as you see, as I start to lift, the unit will go up. And then back down. Now, if we take a look here, you may say, Fred, what's that blinking red light right there? Well, the exciting thing about that is we're currently working on an app that's supposed to be coming out later this year. And the app would allow you to track weight, date, and time, save items, and do lots of other functions from the app. And being able to save weights automatically to an iOS device and an Android. So what we're doing is we're putting Bluetooth in all of our devices so that when the app releases, you already have it and you can download it for free. So that's something to look forward with this item in the future. All right, so if you wanna go ahead and weigh a pallet, what we're gonna do is first go ahead and turn on the device. And then from here, we're gonna make sure that the handle is in the lowest setting. So we wanna drop this, make sure it's all the way down. If it is, then we're gonna go ahead and move towards our pallet. And bear with me, cause I'm doing this with one hand and filming at the same time. All right. Now, one little trick that I do like to advise people about. Now take a look here. With this pallet, you can see that the wheels are sitting on the piece of wood. So if I was to start to pump it up, see if you can hear this. Okay, so I just broke the pallet. So a lot of people make this mistake and what they'll do is they'll pinch the wheel between the wood and the pallet, which will cause it not to give accurate readings, cause it to break your pallets. And you wanna to try to avoid that. So in this case, and every pallet's going to be a little bit different, you want to try to get the forks in the place where they're going to be sitting on the concrete floor. As you can see here, it's not going to hit the wood pallet. So now we'll go ahead and try lifting again. And 
And basically the best practice is you want to get it up all the way off the ground and pump it as high as it can go to get your best sacria weight. So we're at 370. And then from here, we can easily transport the device and move it around as needed, right? And if we wanted to release the handle, we could do this by slowly going down. What's nice is that you can almost control the speed. So let me put it back up. You can control it by how aggressive you want it to go down. So you can go really slow. You can go all the way down as fast. And that gives you the ability to do that. Now, if you want to go ahead and print something, what we're going to do is lift our pallet up and we're going to go to our highest setting. So we want to go as high as we can, right? So it doesn't go up anymore. So we know we're getting our best weights. Okay. Once it's been pumped up, we're going to come over to the display and we're going to hit this button here, the print button. Let's see if I can get you a better angle there. We'll say print and then it will come out here and print for you. And from here you can rip it right off. And basically it's going to go ahead and show you your date, your time, your gross, if you have any tear weight and what the net weight was. And then from here, if you want, you can peel it off, you can stick it on your package, and then you're good to go. And you can take multiple. So let's say you want to do another one because you need to put it on your bill of lading. Well, you can do that again. And you can print it as many times as needed per pallet. And so you can do it multiple times as needed to have the record you need. All right, well, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it's been insightful and giving you lots of information about making a decision to purchase a pallet jack scale. If you do have any questions, you're welcome to call us at 800-711-2237, or you can email us sales at usamesurements.com. Thanks for watching.